Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review of Populous Run for the Apple Arcade on Apple TV. Now the game is loading up here, and I must say when I've seen the trailers of this game, it seems pretty uh, seems pretty wacky. But you know, we're gonna see how this goes. It kind of reminds me of. Kind of like a Badland. I, you know, on this channel, I reviewed Badland not too long ago where you're kind of collecting, you know, some things. You're moving through a stage and you're collecting, you know, duplicates of yourself more or less and trying to dodge different things and make it through a stage. This is definitely more dynamic, uh, kind of put you in a 3D environment. Badland is more of a, uh, you know, 2D environment. And this has the, the music, the colors, so there's a lot going on in this game. As we're there, just kind of preparing us to uh, get into the tutorial. They give us some of the rules. And they'll be pausing a couple times here just to make sure that we're good to go. And we're turning and we're jumping. So there's not too many crazy controls. It's just about moving this mass of people around and trying to keep as many alive as possible essentially. So we're picking up more runners. Gives me that Forrest Gump uh, feel. Forrest Gump on the highway with his group of people. You need at least one runner to complete a level so we always got to keep at least one runner running right or the game's over. And they, they use the little donut <laughs> for their load screens. Yeah, you know, eating donut. Gives a little uh, Simpsons uh, vibe there. Alright, so that first stage is done. Almost like a tutorial stage, I guess, more or less. And we're just going through, or, or actually, the tutorials what we just completed. And now it's gonna allow me to start the first stage here. So we're gonna get in. And it's like we're going down a drain. And we have our donut again. So with this game, obviously the, the graphics aren't the craziest, but they they had to kind of. Um, you know, they have to lessen the graphics sort of uh, demand on, on this game just so that, again, we can keep with their frame rate and keep this game moving. There's a lot of moving parts and pieces here. So they didn't go with extra detail with the graphics. They have the, the, the moving pieces, this three-dimensional sort of uh, approach to this running game. So that, that's where the, the energy of this game is going. It's, it's going to keep that frame rate nice and smooth for us, even though it does slow down a couple times. And uh, you know, keeping that moving it in and making sure that uh, making sure that the, the game is playable and it, it moves the way that you know we, we would like as as players. But yeah, there's so many different moving pieces here, and there's some good detail in some of these donuts and things like that. As they kind of enter uh, our, 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 our view. But yeah, you see all, you see kind of we have, I don't know if these are cookies or burgers or whatever they are, uh, double stuffed. A lot of different moving pieces going on here in this game, and, and I think we're coming up on our first secret character, so we have to take him to the finish line, I think, to unlock him. Oh wow, okay, everything turns green. Gotta jump here. When you see those red ledges, it's prompting you to jump. And that big green guy in the sky there we were looking at for a second, that's the Macaroni King. He will come up later. I think he serves like as a boss for at least this uh, group uh, group of stages. All right, so that was mission one actually, 
and I was able to get at least five runners. I was able to get all the coins. And I got the secret runner. Alright, so one out of, what is that, 17 secret runners or 11? Ripe avocado. And that unlocks hardcore mode. And again, this game is very colorful, very, you know, animated, very musical. There's a lot going on in this game. So there's a lot of different kind of um, stimulation that you're going to get while, while playing this game. So just be prepared for that. So now we're going into stage two. Leaky pipes. And again, when you get too close to some of this food, like most of these things are are big desserts, you know, you'll see that you know you'll, you'll lose your player, or you, you'll lose your runner. And in this pipe here, you have to be careful too. And we get the giant cupcakes. And again, the, the controller is, is pretty sensitive, so you can't uh, do any sort of sharp movements with these runners. You're gonna need to kind of do like a tap, or it's kind of weird, it kind of pulls them all to one side. So you have to be, you know, pr pretty easy on your, on, your, on your fingers, or on the controller rather, to uh, make sure you're not pulling the runners. You have to really more or less let them kind of drift a little bit, guide them a little bit, but it makes it awkward when you uh, pull in any one direction. Uh, sharply, just like how I did right there. You get yourself in trouble. And now it says I'm going the wrong way, so I'm not sure if you can even turn around in this game or if it's just uh, doing that to kind of throw me off a little bit. So I have three. Out of, I have three runners. I need five to. Meet my runner goal, and I'm at seven to five. As we go into the pipe here, one other thing this game reminds me of is uh, like a crazy taxi. I, don't, I have no reason why, because again, you're you're picking up people, you're kind of moving at a fast rate, uh, and just I don't know, it just I don't it just gives me that crazy taxi type vibe. I haven't played crazy taxi in a, a long time. Last time I played that was. Um, I want to say in the Dreamcast years ago, whenever the Dreamcast came out, so what was that like the late, early, late 90s? I want to say mid to late 90s, the Dreamcast came out, if I'm not mistaken, early, early 2000. And uh, yeah, it just gives me that crazy taxi vibe as you're kind of going around this, this area with a lot of different moving pieces and you're trying to get people somewhere safely. So I got the runner goal, but I didn't get my coin goal. I missed it by two. But I'm just going to go on to the next stage here. Or the next mission, whatever you want to call it. And that's what adds to the replay value. You can kind of go back. Complete your runner goals, your coin goals, your secrets unlocked goals. Beat the, the mission on hardcore. So you have a few different options. So if we hold down the jump button, looks like we jump further. So again, you have to have a, a nice, the right sort of touch when kind of moving your characters here. Because any jolts. It was like like driving a car, <laughs> you know. I want to jolt in any one direction. It's gonna be bad news. They keep on you know sliding on their butts. 
See, I lost the lava in there because that pipe threw me off. I didn't stand the slob part of the pipe. I uh, went to where it's like perforated. Uh, it's in slow motion here, which is a cool, cool little effect. The slow mo effect. And it looks like when they're like that sliding, it looks like they're kind of <laughs> in a luge or like a bobsled sort of, you know, look. Like it's like it's snow almost or ice they're on, and I don't think this is snow or ice. But you can see this in this game when you're running, you know the, the stage is pretty muted, right? It has that kind of grayish, gray white, off white kind of look to it, and everything else is pretty much lit up. The uh, the cupcakes, the donuts, the cookies. The runners are, are, are lit up, they have color, but everything else is fairly muted for the most part. Okay, I got caught there. You know, the game is, is, this is not an easy game, so you, you get through that tutorial and that's fine, but the game does, it, the difficulty does start to kind of rise here pretty, pretty quickly, so. You have to be ready to go, uh, I think, kind of, after those first couple of stages, it's, it's, you know, it becomes pretty challenging, so. And again, I'm using the Steel Series Nimbus, I'm not sure if this is like one of those, uh, Siri remote games. I wouldn't even attempt it, but I'm using Steel Series Nimbus. You can use the joystick or the D-pad, I was kind of... Switching back and forth just to see how they feel. All right, so I was able to get through. I think that's mission three or four. All right, but I'm doing worse and worse here. So I get my runner goal just by one runner. Coins are down, no secrets. All right, so let's just keep going here. Mission four. Let's just see how how far I can go here, or at least try to get to level five. Level four. All right, so we got narrow path level four. Look around to find all secret characters, and yeah, these last couple of missions I haven't been looking around. I'm just trying to finish the stage here, so I'm not uh, looking to go off on any tangents, any forks in the road. I'm sure there's plenty there, but when you're actually, play, it's, you know, it's easier to spot it when you're looking back on it. When you're watching somebody else play, but when you're actually doing this all in real time. It's, it's tough to look for like a fork in the road or another path to go down. You're just trying to dodge these, you know, cupcakes and things like that. Sometimes it's a little bit easier when you have one or two people instead of trying to control a big crowd. Sometimes it does feel easier, but you're running a higher risk because you know you need at least one to make it. So a lot, a lot of times it's easier to move around with one one player, but you need as many as possible. All you need is one to make it to the end. So I'm eight above, or I'm three above my runner goal. I just lost a few runners, a good handful there. Due to the perforation of this pipe here. Now they're rolling some more cookies, or whatever it is down the hill here. I'm gonna jump here, pick up some more runners. 
Alright, we're back in business, we're at 5 of 5. Yeah, every time you hit those checkpoints, it's a big sort of, you know, celebration. Oh, see that, that, that tight turn kind of threw me off a little bit. Yeah, those turns are keep keep killing me. Yeah, if I could have made that last turn better, I would have uh, hit my player goal or my runner goal. But I think that is good enough to go ahead and mark that mission completed. Even though this is getting ugly, so I only had two get through there. Almost at my coins goal. Just by one. All right, we're gonna do level five here. I think this is gonna be my last level. Uh, try to get the crown, but I don't think this goes so well here. We have like the kind of like a final boss or something like that for this stage or for these missions. Level five. But um, that, that's pretty much my review on the game. This is Populous Run on the uh, Apple Arcade. I'm playing this on an Apple TV. Check this out. Um, I, I think if, if you like Badland, this is definitely more of a three dimensional approach to that concept. Uh, you know, more animated, a little bit lighter, easier on the eyes, colorful. So this is a good little family game to maybe check out. Um, so they're from maybe a younger gamer as well. So uh, that's my review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you can't win if you don't play.